it seems an unlikely spot to inspire a revolution. Hornsey, a small Yorkshire resort, has been a stranger to the traumatic event. Big news here has been a leaking sewage pipe and the sighting of a kiosk on the seafront. But times are a changing in Hornsey. Hornsey would hardly seem the kind of place, and the North Sea would hardly seem the kind of water to attract sun seekers. Well, the British Naturalist Council searched Britain from Wick to the Isle of Wight to find a place where they could caress their bodies on a public beach. Finally, they came here to hospitable Hornsey. Last week, the council, on a vote of eight to three, decided to open the doors of the town to nudes. Very soon, on this very beach, in this very spot, Hornsonians will be able to witness Ladies and gentlemen, prancing around in the nude. And the decision to let them in has split the town in half. I think it's objectionable. Now, would you tell me why? Well, because I think it, it's there's all this sex and every wretched thing, more and more of it. What is there about uh, nudists which you think would uh, I'm undermine I'm telling you to attract the wrong class of person. The hooliganism. And give extra work to the police, drinking and everything else. You'll get all the scoundrels out of hell coming. What difference does it make covering the private parts up to the health? I ask you that much, not the slightest. The things are coming, really, that uh, there's nothing private at all. Disgusting. That's Sorry, stuck love. on that shoot, the, run, the <laughs> Why? Because it's disgusting, that's what I think it is. Dead against it. Why, sir? Because it's the worst thing they can do. You'll bring all the riffraff out the whole leads and all over into the town. Why? Why? And they'll be breaking and all over the place. And crime. I suppose it might provide certain difficulties uh, from uh, a law and order point of view, won't it? Sort of... No comment. Your I'm opinion. biased. I'm Councillor Mrs Johnson, I'm afraid. Are you? Um, Are you? I'm, I'm that, protest against it completely. Do you? Oh, yes, yes. Can I, I ask you, Councillor Mrs Johnson, what your views are about the uh, nudists coming to, uh, to Hornsey? Well, I well, think disgusting. it's very wrong. Anyway, I think so, too. Uh, firstly, I think to, to have nudists on a private beach is wrong. This curtails other people's activities, and especially for children. I don't think children should be watching uh, people in the nude. Why not? This is a family resort. Why should the nudists come along and take our beach? Why don't they find themselves a little plot? Fence it in and cavort about to the heart's content. I don't think I'd like to meet a party of nudists. As you may have guessed, Hornsey's new to nudists and doesn't know what will happen when family men and women and their kids will scamper on the sand next summer wearing only a smile. Will the town's moral fibre collapse? Will this become a paradise for peeping toms? Well, there's nothing like a trial run to gauge public reaction. Here, starring in the All Together, are Gladys, Mildred, Bertha and Ethel, four plastic ladies borrowed from a dress shop. Do you reckon it's going to corrupt the minds of your kids to see naked people running about on the beach? Well, no, because some men are quite, uh, well, broad-minded. I don't think they've are been... They? Yes, but I don't know. Some it will. I expect a lot of children will have a few giggles, won't they, about it? What do you think? <laughs> as well. We thought it was mixed bathing. <laughs> we, uh, we just thought we'd give uh, Hornsey a look and see what it's going to be like with all naked ladies running around on the beach. Oh, I think we're all in favour, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> So long as our wives see, don't. See, you were only here for the beer. I can't <laughs> see that that interests you. <laughs> I think your husband's are showing an unhealthy interest in these naked ladies on the beach. Not really. No, my <laughs> husband, he hasn't any energy left. <laughs> <laughs>
Among those whom Hornsey can thank for liberalising the human form is a former mayor of the town, Councillor Mrs Sylvia Wood, who has practical experience of what naturism is really like. I myself have sunbathed in the nude, not in this country, admittedly. And I think it's a delightful sensation. You have freedom of movement, you have no clammy wet costumes. And I can't see anything wrong with it at all. The family joined me in the sunbathing in the nude, and it is a family thing. We are pioneers, I hope. We've pioneered many things, and Hornsey likes to be first in this and give a lead to the rest of the nation. Overseas, they think nothing of it. In Germany, in Denmark, Holland, you have a choice there. You can sunbathe in the nude or in costumes. The naturalists, of course, will face several basic problems. Days like this are not infrequent in Hornsey. The weather experts say that the temperature here throughout the year really rises above 55 degrees Fahrenheit. And local people say that one hour in that, the North Sea is enough to kill anyone. I've been in Hornsey all my life, and if they can stand two days or three days on the beach at Hornsey, the best of luck, because I've gone on the beach a lot. They'll, they'll wish they'd never been on sometimes in that North Sea country. It's far too cold, the climate isn't suitable. Isn't it? No. <laughs> What's it like here at the summer, then? Well, it, oh, can, oh, it can be rather chilly when the tide comes up. Hornsey, however, already has a lone pioneer who's disrobed in the cold North Sea. Have you ever done any nude bathing? Not personally, no, well, have you? It's, yes, it's pleasurable. And I often bathe off this coast in the nude, but I take my trunks off in the water and hang them on one of these horrible projections that have been here for years. Hornsey can offer naturalists one redeeming feature. It gets very foggy in Hornsey with mist sweeping in from the North Sea here. So any peeping toms about will have a hard job peering through the fog to see the sights. Now, personally, I think before you become a nature lover, you've got to have a strong, handsome, virile body. So all you ladies sitting at home now are in for quite a treat. Nationwide's own bargain offer of the month, revealed in all his glory.